Hello, Sasha from NetbookNews.com here. We're still at the CES. I think it's Saturday right now because I'm not sure. I'm already here for five days now and I'm getting a little bit exhausted. But anyways, finally, I made my way over to the Intel booth and I'm talking to um, Cindy Ng. You're the product manager at Intel for the Intel Atom platform. And uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing really good, thanks. That's fantastic. So Cindy, um, maybe you can tell us a little bit about the new Pine Trail platform and how the development was going on and what are the differences between Diamondville and Manlo compared to uh, Pine Trail right now. Absolutely. Very, very excited to talk about uh, Pine Trail. Um, it's our second generation Intel Atom platform that we've launched just this past Monday um, for the netbook platforms. Um, we've done very several things um, on Pine Trail. Um, the first thing that we've done is we've integrated the graphics controller, the memory controller, all on all with the CPU die. So where it took us two chips to do that, we're doing it on one chip. And then we have the Intel NM10 Express chipset, which is the, the chipset. So we went from three chip solution to a two chip solution. So what that means is consumers will see smaller, sleeker, thinner designs, very attractive, very stylish. And on top of that, more performance, but longer lasting battery life. So we should see netbooks um, running eight, 10, or even 11 hours of battery life. So, I mean, we've seen already a couple of designs uh, over CS. I think about 80 new Pine Trail netbooks got announced uh, uh, this week. So it's, it's kind of uh, amazing uh, the output of the industry uh, using the Pine Trail um, uh, platform. What I'm, what I'm curious about is, um, at, uh, when, when we're comparing it to, to the former generation, means Intel Atom, uh, N270, N280, the okay. Diamondville platform, you know. Um, there were some limitations right now with Pine Tree when it comes to resolution, and some people were expecting a little bit more performance. In my opinion, uh, well, I, I think it's all about battery life and being mobile uh, uh, with a netbook. So what, what's your take on this? Can you, can you see even getting more performance in future generation of the Pine Trail? Well, clearly we always want to improve and deliver features and benefits to consumers. Uh, so with Pine Trail, you know, we've listened to the consumers, we've listened to our OEM customers, and we have increased the resolution support to 1366 by 768. So compared to the previous generation where we only supported 1024 by 768, that is an increase, and I think the OEMs and, and consumers are happy with that. Absolutely. Um, well, we, we are seeing a, a couple of, we have like 20 new netbooks over here. Uh, can you just uh, tell us what, what are the main difference right now? You've been already talking about, okay, longer battery life and uh, slimmer netbooks. Are we also going to see fanless solutions using Pine Trail? Yeah, so we have, uh, this is the netbook carousel that I'm calling here, and we are showing um, 18 netbook designs from various OEMs. Um, about 14 to 15 of them are based on Pine Trail, which is our newest generation atom platform. And the fun thing about this generation of netbooks is that OEMs have be begun to get more creative. So you're going to see really fun colors, bright, attractive, very stylish, and very fashionable. And we've also seen a lot of partnering with um, OEMs and uh, fashion designers and furniture designers. So really, really attractive designs, making it very personal and unique. And to your question about fanless, yes, there are fanless designs out there. Um, because we've decreased the thermal design point of Pine Trail, it does enable some OEMs to omit a fan completely. Um, Dell is one example, and we are we do have a Dell notebook behind me that we can look at later on. Oh, we'll definitely take a look at this some later. So in general, what you're saying is uh, mentioning a couple of designers. Uh, a netbook is becoming a lifestyle product. Is that true? Right. It's an accessory, and it really people want to carry the netbook with them. They want to be seen with it, and they basically want to choose a netbook that reflects their personality. And the designs out there um, really give consumers the choice to do that. I absolutely agree. Thank you so much, Cindy, for having us here at the Intel booth. Um, this is Sasha from NetbookNews.com on the pretty much last day of CES 2010 in Las Vegas. Thanks for watching.